Well, hello, and welcome back to Rick's Kits. So here we are with the uh, final of the Phantom of the Opera. Um, pretty cool kit to put together. I enjoy building it. A few seam lines that had to be uh, disposed of. Um, can't get him fully in the camera shot, unfortunately, but uh, I'm pleased with the result. <laughs> got an ambient let me turn the camera down a bit so you can have a see we've got an ambient light down there in the uh, in the basement of the opera house let me move some of this crap out of the way don't be seeing that rubbish so yeah we've got an ambient light down there we've got the little rat that comes with it i didn't put the lizard on i didn't want to put the lizard on it didn't look uh, it didn't look very uh, very good but there he is got his uh, mask on uh, getting two options with his uh, mask on his face which I actually quite like but uh, let's let's take the other option for this moment in time let's put it where it normally would be is in his hand and there's the good looking lone cha long chainy as uh, a phantom let me give you a turn slightly there you go so all in the critics no oils or anything on this one but, um God knows how many layers of paint in uh, in the actual itself, but the face is um, five, no, four colours, and each one of those has got approximately five or six layers of paint to bring it to to where it is. Uh, the suit is. All different paint colours, and each one of those is about two or three layers each. Um, the cravat in the front there. Uh, in the actual movie, it's black, but I like the red. It looks more. It looks makes him look more horrific. The cape is uh lined with red as well see in in the footage um sprayed down with a satin sheen finish just to uh give it a look like um the uh, silk the silk look about it front and back um yeah, I'm pleased, very pleased with the output on this one. Um, there's only one other small detail on this that they neglected to put in um, on the model in the actual uh, the 1925 film. Uh, he has a black waistcoat. Uh, this one has just got a white shirt, uh, which is unfortunate. What I would have liked to get hold of but it was hard to find one would have been the polar lights version um the um long chaney in that one uh, is in front of his uh, organ and the backdrop on that would have been probably a lot better i would would have liked to have kept this figure because it represents him quite well the mask is uh not correct um so we'll have kept that figure and um put him with the uh organ that he plays so yeah there you have it there is uh the phantom of the opera in uh my depiction of uh great actor 
or a great horror star, should I say. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you tuning in and uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. It's free, costs you nothing. Um, same with all the other guys at this community. We're all free. We all do this for fun. We enjoy building it. And uh, yeah, like, comment, share if you want to. I don't mind. And uh, see you in the next one. Is the small scale group build hosted by Mr. Brian at BG Model Works and Sean from the Scale Model Car Guy channel. Great guys, great channels. Go check them out. If you haven't already subscribed to them, subscribe, like their content, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. Once again, see you in the next one. Happy modeling. Bye for now.